This poultry farm belongs to MS Bunzoya Trading Enterprise and so recently the farm had over 10,000 birds and produced more than 350 curates of eggs daily according to the CEO Mohamed Isifu. The company had to reduce the number of layers to 5,000 in response to the high cost of feed. This particular structure alone contains 10,240 birds. So that was giving us 300 crates of eggs a day. But due to the challenges with the feed, we have to depopulate them to a level that we can cope. MS Monsoya Enterprise is a beneficiary of the Savannah Investment Program, SIP which aimed at reducing importation of animal protein and also enhanced competitiveness of the poultry industry. Mohammed says the farm received some day old chickens at subsidized price and given feed for the first two weeks under the intervention. After this intervention, the continuous management of the poultry farm has been a challenge. The challenge has to do with soya bean, basically. Soya bean, maize and then wheat bran. Because the soy is imported from Argentina. So the imported one is very expensive. And now you can't even get local soy to buy in the market. So if the local soy were to be there, that we have local, local processes. They will also process and then it will augment the imported one. The chairman for the Poultry Farmers Association in the Northern region, George Dassa, although applauded the safe intervention, lamented that the high cost of feed is impacting negatively on the poultry industry in the region. That is how we are not able to compete with the foreign chicken because you can imagine like in America, a farmer uh, goes in for credit at a very lower rate, less than 3%. In Ghana here, up to about 20 or more percent. So you can't compete. But this uh, poultry revolving fund, we are told that the interest rate will go down as low as 10 percent which is affordable speaking in a media interview after a team of media personnel and staff from the african development bank paid a visit to some beneficiary farms in the northern region philip wahin chief policy economist with the bank noted that the government is working to operationalize the poultry revolving fund by the last quarter of this year the Poultry Revolving Fund is basically dedicated to youth and uh, women entrepreneurs. And it will finance the initial setup of poultry houses, uh, day old chicks, feed, vaccines, drugs, up to the time that you know, they, they sell to the uh, off takers. And then these funds are recovered over time and then recycled back into the system and then we get more and more uh, on board. Uh, the only challenge we had in operationalizing this were a few you know, uh, issues related to concluding uh, interest rates uh, uh, with the central bank, uh, Ministry of Finance and, uh, and then Ministry of Agriculture. Happily, we have, we have resolved all those issues. We are expected to come on stream uh, in the coming months. The, the, the main thing remaining is the recruitment of, of the um, participating financial institution. So it's a, it's, a, it's a competitive process which is really ongoing. So as soon as it's concluded, uh, then the funds will become available. We expect this to be concluded by October. Uh, for funds to be made available. We are working around the clock to fast track this and ideally to make it available somewhere in August. The Savannah Investment Program is a good initiative that needs to be encouraged. The intervention has the potential of creating jobs and lifting people out of poverty. However, the teething problems associated with the project, such as high cost of feed, needs to be addressed to enable stakeholders realize their goal.